Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your favorite neighborhood critic back with some piping hot tea about the Sussexes that's got everyone talking. Grab your popcorn because this is one wild ride you won't want to miss. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, I know we've all been wondering what's really going on with Meghan, Harry, and those elusive kiddos of theirs. Well, buckle up, because today we're diving deep into a theory that's more dramatic than a series finale of The Crown. Let's start with the elephant in the room, or should I say the babies that aren't in the room. That's right folks, we're talking about Archie and Lilibet, the royal youngsters that some are calling ghost children. Now I'm not saying I believe this myself, but there is a growing crowd out there who swear up and down that these kids are about as real as my chances of becoming the next King of England. But wait, I hear you cry. We've seen pictures, we've caught glimpses. Oh my innocent royal viewers, in this age of Photoshop and paid actors, anything's possible. At least, that's what the theorists are saying. They're convinced that Meghan has got a whole operation going on complete with a crack team of photo editors and rotating cast of child actors. It's like Ocean's Eleven but with more diapers and less George Clooney. Now let's talk about the end game here. What could possibly be the motive behind such an elaborate scheme? Well according to the rumor mill it all comes down to cold hard cash and a hefty dose of royal prestige. The theory goes that Meghan's playing the long game, setting up these ghost children as heirs to snag a piece of that sweet, sweet royal inheritance pie. But here's where it gets really juicy. Some folks are saying this isn't just about money, it's about power. They're painting a picture of Meghan as some kind of master manipulator, using these phantom kids as leverage to blackmail good old King Charles himself. Can you imagine the drama at the next family Christmas? Pass the figgy pudding and, oh by the way, about those grandkids you've never met. Now I know what you're thinking, but they've made public appearances, we've seen them. Well, according to the conspiracy crowd, those are more smoke and mirrors. They claim that if you look closely, the kids seem to change appearances from one sighting to the next. It's like a royal version of the Olsen twins switching places except with more intrigue and fewer direct-to-video movies. But now, hold on to your fascinators because it gets even wilder. Some royal watchers swear that Meghan herself accidentally spilled the beans on this whole question. They're pointing to some vague statement she made that they're interpreting as a confession. Now I'm not saying I buy it, but you've got to admit, it's more entertaining than most of the shows on Netflix these days. Speaking of Netflix, let's talk about the Sussex brand for a moment. Harry and Meghan have been all about building their image since they stepped back from royal duties. But here's the million dollar question. Or should I say, multi-million dollar question. How does this theory fit into their grand plan? Well, if you believe the skeptics, it's all part of a carefully crafted narrative. They're saying that by keeping the kids under wraps, Meghan and Harry are creating an air of mystery. It's like the royal version of a teaser trailer. Keep them guessing, keep them talking, and watch those stream numbers soar. But let's pump the brakes for a second and consider the flip side. We've got sources close to the couple painting a very different picture. They're talking about well-mannered kids, loving parents, and a desire to protect their children from the harsh spotlight of royal fame. It's less elaborate conspiracy and more concerned parents trying to navigate a crazy world. These sources claim that Meghan and Harry are just trying to give Archie and Lulabet a shot at a normal life. Or as normal a life can be when your grandpa is literally the king of England. They say the Sussexes are hands-on parents, doing school runs and trying to keep things low. It's less Ocean's Eleven and more Modern Family, Royal Edition. Now I know some of you are rolling your eyes right now, but what about the Royal Heritage, I hear you cry? Well, according to these inside sources, Meghan and Harry aren't trying to hide the kids' royal roots. They're just waiting for the right time to have those big conversations. It's like waiting to tell your kids about the birds and the bees, except instead of awkward talks about biology, it's awkward talks about tiaras and castles. But here's where it gets complicated. The Sussexes have been pretty vocal about their security concerns, and let's face it, they've got a point. Being royal isn't all fancy hats and waving from balconies. There's a dark side to fame, especially when you're born into it. So is it really so crazy to think they might be extra protective of their kids? Now I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I'm just your friendly neighborhood critic serving up the tea and letting you decide how you want to drink it. But I will say this, whether you believe in ghosts to children or just privacy loving parents, this whole situation is a fascinating look at the intersection of celebrity, royalty and good old fashioned family drama. 
think about it. We're living in an age where the line between public and private life is blurrier than ever. Social media has made us all feel like we've had a front row seat to everyone's lives, especially celebrities. But what happens when someone tries to draw that line? When they say, no, you can't have access to every part of my life. Well, apparently we lose our minds and start spinning elaborate theories about fake children and royal conspiracies. But let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. This whole debate, are the kids real, are they fake, why haven't we seen more of them? It's all part of a larger conversation about privacy, celebrity culture, and the price of fame. It's about how we consume media, how we relate to public figures, and what we think we're entitled to know about their lives. And you know what, maybe that's the real story here. Maybe the tale of Archie and Lilibet, whether they're flesh and blood or elaborate holograms, is really a mirror held up to our society. It's showing us our obsession with royalty, our hunger for gossip, and our struggle to respect boundaries in the age of information overload. So where does this leave us? Well, if you ask me, it leaves us with more questions than answers. But isn't that always the way with the really juicy stories? Here's what we know for sure. Meghan and Harry are out there living their lives in California. They say they have two kids. Some people believe them, some don't. The royal family continues to be a source of fascination and drama for people around the world. And all of us, yes, even your friendly neighborhood critic, are along for the ride, trying to make sense of it all. As for Archie and Lilibet, well, only time will tell. Maybe one day they'll step into the spotlight, wave to the cameras, and put all these theories to rest. Or maybe they'll continue to be the royal's biggest mystery fueling countless hours of speculation and debate. Either way, you can bet I'll be here ready to break it down for you, because in the wild world of royal watching, only thing that we can be sure of is that there's always another twist around the corner. So what do you think? Are you team real kids or elaborate hoax? Or are you like me, just sitting back and enjoying the show? Whatever side you're on, one thing's for sure, the saga of the Sussex family is far from over, and I for one can't wait to see what happens next. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.